So UiPath is going crazy with Gen AI. And in this video, we're taking a look at a new activity. It's called Sentiment Analysis. So with sentiment analysis, what you can do is you can measure or analyze uh, a person's sentiment towards some thing, if you have it in text form, at least. Um, so UiPath has built an activity for this, so you can feed it with some text, and then you can uh, get a response back as to whether or not the person is happy or not so happy about some thing. So let's uh, try and do that. Let's jump into studio. We have, uh, as always, a completely empty solution. Before we uh, start coding though, we'll jump into the cloud platform and go to integration service. I just want to make sure that in my folder that we're working in, we have a connection to the UiPath Gen AI activities. If you don't know how to set this up, I have a video where I do this. There's a link to that in the description below. So uh, we have it all set up here. Let's jump back into studio. And then I'll go to my activities pane up here. And I'll search for uh, Gen AI, we have this constantly uh, growing list of Gen AI activities. I will take the sentiment analysis activity and drag it into my sequence. And luckily for us, it does recognize that I do have uh, an active and connected connection to the uh, activities in integration service. So all I need to do here is I need to provide the text that we want to analyze. And then if we click the uh, activity here, we can see that in the properties window, we have a lot of properties that will be filled out with stuff that comes back when we run our automation. So let's uh, create some variables for that. I'll speed up the video while I do it. So just sit back and relax for about three seconds. So there we go already, except we still need to fill out the text that we want to analyze. So let's uh, see what we can find. What I did is I went to TripAdvisor and I found a hotel, the Crown Plaza Sun Palace Hotel in Beijing. I know for a fact this is a very nice hotel and I'm not sponsored by them. They did once upgrade me to a suite though, so thank you for that. Anyways, let's uh, run down to the uh, reviews down here and we can see that, well, with quite a margin, you know, people are quite happy with this hotel, but we'll select to only view the terrible reviews and let's scroll down a little bit and see what we can find. Uh, dishonest service here. We'll, we'll copy and paste this text. Someone is not very happy with this hotel. That's okay. We'll paste the text into our uh, expression editor here. Save. And the last thing I'll do is I'll just insert another activity here. And then set a breakpoint on that so we can inspect the variables once we start running the automation. And let's do that now. So basically now it's sending the text that we copied into the text property up into the activity in the integration service, which will then pass it on to one of the large language models. I forgot which one. Get a result back, fill out all of those properties, and now we can inspect those. So the first one, overall sentiment. Let's uh, just click that. Basically it says that the score is minus 66 and an overall sentiment of negative. Why is that? Well, if we take a look at the my sentiment breakdown variable, um, which is why, what I called it, we can see here that there is one positive statement, there is five negative statements in the text, and then there's a couple of neutral statements, and that makes for a total of eight statements in the text. So that's why it came up with this negative score of minus 66, because overwhelmingly these statements were negative. Cancel out of that. The confidence level score is basically... Uh, an assessment of how sure is the model that it gave us the correct assessment of these uh, statements or phrases. The key phrases uh, property basically is where the activity gives you sort of a detailed look into each of those eight key phrases and then tells you which phrases were negative, um, neutral, and, and, and so forth. And it also gives a confidence score for each of those eight phrases. The my analysis uh, property basically is a textual representation of the result. Let's try and uh, clean this up a little bit. I'm not going to read everything, but basically it says the overall sentiment of the text is negative with a normalized score of minus 66. The text contains a mix of neutral, negative, and one positive statement. 
the negative sentiment is primarily driven by complaints, yada, 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 yada. But here you get sort of a textual description of, of why it thinks uh, that this is overall a negative uh, statement. Then there's, uh, this one is really fun, undertones. If we look into that, uh, basically we can, uh, there's two undertones we can see. And if we sort of find each one of them, uh, let's see, where's the second one here? So the first one is disappointment and frustration. And then it, it tells us why this uh, guest feels uh, disappointed and frustrated about his stay at this hotel. And the other undertone is mild satisfaction. Mild satisfaction, I, I like that. Um, but uh, basically, and it describes, you know, there is a mild undertone of satisfaction with the room quality and the effectiveness, effective attentiveness, sorry, of the service, yada, yada, yada. And then finally, the my sentiment uh, analysis property. That is basically all of this information that we just looked at packed into one JSON object. So you can take that apart in any which way you want and work with it. So sentiment analysis is a fun activity, I think. Um, it does come with a cost because you do need AI units in order to use it. At least when it goes GA, it's still in a public preview, so it's still free to use. But once it goes into GA, you need AI units. Maybe you have that if you use communications mining or document understanding or something. Otherwise, you can use activities that go directly to ChatGPT or Gemini or whatever. However, when you go through the UiPath integration service, you are protected by the UiPath AI trust layer. That means that none of the data that you send to the activity and that is then sent on to those large language models, none of that data will be logged or used for training. So your data is secure if you do it through um, UiPath. So anyways, uh, that was it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. It really does make a difference. And also uh, subscribe to my channel. Again, lots of stuff coming out soon. So hopefully I'll see you in the next one.